Hello, hello, hello. I'm Melissa, AKA the Curly Executive, and in this video, we're gonna talk about why I call myself Curly. But before we do that, I need to make sure that you are subscribed so that you do not miss a one-on-one. -on -one. You do not wanna miss your one-on-ones. You have to be here for your one-on-one, so click that button, please. So why Curly? Why, Melissa, would you choose to define yourself by your hair, to define your career by your hair? Well, curly for me means just a little bit more than these curls here. And to tell you what it means, I've got to tell you more about me and my story and my journey. But to do that, I'm going to start by asking you a weird question, probably the weirdest question you've had all day, hopefully ever. And you might say, Melissa, why, why, why are you asking me a weird question? Why can't we just be normal? And if you follow me on any of my personal channels, you'll know that I'm moving to Austin. So since this channel will be coming to you from Austin, Texas, we're going to keep it weird today and start with one weird question. I'm putting up some things on the screen right now. You've got the number seven, you've got sanitary napkins, you've got Procter & Gamble, chopsticks, roses, a Zerbichon. The question is, what do all these things have to do with each other? Hmm? And it's not that Procter & Gamble in collaboration with MIT is working on sanitary napkins made from chopsticks that smell like roses and they've been doing it for the last seven years. It's me. At age seven, I started selling Avon and Mary Kay with my mother. We went door to door to fund a trip for me to go to Martinique because my mom absolutely wanted me to see the world and learn French. Merci, maman. <laughs> I now speak French in part because at age eight, we did it again, but this time we sold roses. My mom said, what do you want to sell? I said, mom, why don't we do roses for Valentine's Day? And my mom actually went out and bought a thousand rose stems. We made bouquets and we literally ran from car to car in the street. Imagine me, little Melissa, eight year old with an Afro, Afro puff back then, selling roses. And that was the start of something that would continue for almost my entire life. Me finding ways, side hustles to sell different items, mainly to travel. And in that process, I've sold everything from coffee to weight loss products, to telephone service, to sanitary napkins. So that's why the sanitary napkins are up there. Um, I was able to, and was fortunate to travel all around the world. I've lived in about 15 different countries now with seven different host families, including one in Azerbaijan. So I have a sister in Azerbaijan who I'll hopefully be visiting sometime soon. Hi, Essie. And all of this, this journey really led me to study marketing. And so I applied to MIT, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technology's business school, the Sloan School of Management, where I was accepted, finished my degree in marketing, and then went on to work in corporate. One of my first, and I think really key experiences in marketing was with Procter & Gamble, where I learned to focus on consumers. Um, when we go start going through our one-on-ones, you're gonna hear me talk about the consumer a lot. A lot of that comes from my base in P&G, um, which is a very much consumer-focused company. Now, there's two more things left on the screen, and those are the chopstick and the roses, and the roses are not the roses from age eight. These roses signify Camilla's and Curls, which is my hair accessories line. And then the chopsticks are for chocolate covered chopsticks, which is my YouTube channel with my husband and a vlog that I love to make if you wanna see me 100% unfiltered, personal, weird, crazy Melissa. Now that you've heard all my journey, you're probably wondering, okay, I see the curls, curly, like Camilla's and Curls, what else? Like what, what is this curly thing? What curly is for me is really just not straight, not a straight line from A to B. And as you see, my journey has been anything but a straight line. It's been essentially curly. And so marketing for me is also 
not a straight line. Marketing zigs and zags, you know, it evolves really as you figure out and learn more about your consumer, your marketing is going to change. As you test and learn new strategies, you are going to evolve, zig, zag, curl, change direction. If you're doing marketing right, it's definitely anything but a straight line. And so to summarize, yes, my hair is curly. My life can essentially be described as curly and my marketing, my marketing is most definitely curly. So that's why I'm the curly executive. Check me out at curlyexecutive.com. Check me out, check me out. Eh, eh, eh.